base coat, a top coat of your choice, a light pink nail polish, a medium pink polish, a white, a pink glitter nail polish, or if you don't have that, you can use loose pink glitter. Craft glitter will work just fine as well. You're going to need some dotting tools, like this one here, and an orange stick to clean up around the edges of your nail. So if you want to see how to do this nail art for breast cancer awareness, then keep watching and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so before I decided to do my nails, I applied some of my um, nail polish. This is just the one from Orly Nailtrition. I'm trying this out. It has a strengthener and protein for the nails to help um, keep your nails strong, especially if you have um, really soft, peeling, cracked nails, which that's not my case. I just wanted something with some protein because um, my nails can use the extra protein. So that's what I have, and it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. Um, and I did two coats of this, and that was yesterday or the day before. So the next thing is that you're going to have to do is put your base coat. So I'm going to be using my Creative Nail Design base coat. Um, this is a sticky base coat. I love this stuff. It's truly the best base coat that I have found. So what you want to do is just put a thin layer of this onto the nail. Nothing too thick or anything like that because it's just going to make the polish adhere to the nail very nicely and I get my um, base coat from Ulta but I do know that Amazon sells these this exact same base coat as well so um, if you are an Amazon shopper which I have been lately um, it's where I've gotten some of my nail art stuff I will put a link to um, this base coat if you're interested in it but I think I paid like less than 10 bucks for it so then do, I'm doing my thumb now. I need a little bit more. Now if you guys want to see um, my manicure basics, how I do my manicures, um, and my manicure tools and stuff like that, let me know with a comment or a thumbs up so I can do that um, because I did not show, I'm not going to show the manicure in this video. And I can show you all the best um, top coats, base coats, um, nail art stuff. If you want to know about nail art, I am not an expert. I'm not a pro, but I feel like I'm really getting um, much better at it with my technique. So I'm going to just um, let this dry, and then we will be back to do the nail art. And I'm using this little mini one from OPI. This is their Alpine Snow. Just a standard basic white. Um, you can use one from the drugstore, which I have plenty. Um, it doesn't have to be OPI, just any white. Um, you're, be prepared to do a couple coats of this because it is going to be um, very streaky. So just apply a couple coats. Uh, I'm going to do one coat at a time. And this one is actually one of probably one of the best whites that I have tried um, in a long time because most of them that I've come across are pretty streaky and not really the best so and then if you make a mistake or anything like that that's why I like to have these little orange sticks to kind of clean up around the edges you can take um, I put my nail off to the side like this and I go ahead and clean around the edges to make sure that um, any mistakes that I've made or if I've gotten onto my cuticle on accident I can clean it up before it's too late because once this dries um, you can go back and do it afterwards with um, like a brush, like using, um, this is just a dollar brush from e.l.f., just a teensy little guy, hopefully you guys can see that, with some polish, um, nail polish remover. Okay, so now I'm going to do my ring finger. And basically I just start by applying the product onto my nail and then moving my nail, um, to the side as I'm trying to spread the polish. And then I like to go around the edges and just paint the edges of my nail. As you can see this one 
um, is a little bit on the streaky side. So while that dries, we can move on to the next. Okay, so the next step is to apply a light pink color. This is from Essie, and it's actually called Raise Awareness. This came out probably two or three years ago for the month of October, so it's for the breast cancer. They do have new ones out now. Just any um, light pink color. Um, it doesn't have to be one that's made specifically for the breast cancer awareness month, but just any one that you have will work just fine. So I'm going to do this. on my pinky and this one is a really nice color and again this one is a little bit on the streaky side so we're gonna have to do a couple um, coats with that it's not quite as opaque as I want it to be and then I'm gonna do my thumb with this one Okay, so now for the middle finger, we are going to do a nice bubblegum pink color just to add some pop of color. Um, I want, you know, just a little bit of brightness. This is OPI's Shorts Stories, and this is, I don't know if this is a permanent one or not. I've had this for a couple years, and it's probably the best bubblegum pink color. Um, but just any bubblegum pink, you can even do a magenta if you wanted. It doesn't have to be this one. This is just my favorite one. So this is what we have on our nails and we're going to wait till this dries because we need to do two coats of each of the colors on our nails. So I'm going to let this dry, I'm going to move on to my other hand and then we'll continue on. Now I'm going to use for the breast cancer ribbon, I'm going to use some dotting tools and I just got these um, a set of five dotting tools from Amazon. So what I'll do is I'll put a link to the Amazon website. I think I got these for three or four dollars um, and that included the shipping so it was really cheap. Um, you can get these at different places like Sally's um, but they're probably going to be more expensive so I would go to Amazon. And so you're going to need just a um, kind of like a smallish sized um, dotting tool. Let me see if I can get a little closer. You can see about that size. Nothing um, bigger than that because you want to have the ribbon um, really nice on your nail. You don't want it to be too big where it takes up a lot of the white. I'm going to use my Essie light pink color and I'm going to pour this onto a little bit of um, a um, plate. And I'm using just a porcelain plate from Target. You don't want to use any styrofoam because it's going to eat through it. So just pour a couple little drops like you can see here on the corner of my plate. And then I'm going to take my nail dotting tool and I'm going to place it into the polish. I'm going to move this off to the side so you guys can see. So take some, you want to make sure that you have enough on your actual dotting tool. And then you're going to start by applying, um, I started at the base of my nail, applying a couple dots and this is going to be the actual uh, ribbon part at the end of it. So just create little dots like so and then you want to start um, coming around the top and creating the rounded shape like so. So she should have and now we're going to finish the end of the ribbon. And that is 
your breast cancer ribbon with dots. Now you can go ahead and fill this in if you wanted to. I really like how this looks. I did the other one beforehand to make sure it's going to look right, so that's what they look like. I'm going to use some glitter. Um, this is just a pink glitter. This is called Sparkling Rose from LA Splash and I got this in a set of different ones from Ross. So definitely check out the Ross stores near you. And I also have another option for you if you want. This is some loose glitter from LA Splash and it's called Cute. And it's just like these really beautiful different shapes. They're all the same color and light pink, um, nice metallic -y finish, um, larger hex sizes and then smaller ones. It's not completely fine, it's a little bit on the chunkier side, so you can do either or, or just use your favorite um, glitter top coat. Um, so I'm going to use the nail polish, and I'm going to apply a nice coat of this directly over my white uh, pointer finger. Now if you want this to be nice and opaque, it's going to definitely take several coats to cover up the white one coat of the glitter and you can let this dry and apply another one so I'm going to let it dry and just see how I feel I may actually leave it like that because I like the white coming through it it's really cute so take your brush with some of your glitter and you want to make sure that you wipe off as much of the glitter as possible you want to do this very thin sheer layers because this will be very easy to mess up so take your finger, I like to put my hand off to the side like this, and then I like to just lay my brush right onto the tip of my nail. Hopefully you guys can see that. And just create a French tip with the glitter. And then I like to go back and just pat on the same line that I just created and intensify that glitter. And that's what you should have. Really simple and easy. Again, you want to start off with your brush as clean as possible, with just a little bit, because you want this to be glitter almost like intense here at the by the cuticle and then kind of trickling and fading down into the rest of your nail. So you want to start off with a little bit on your brush. And then you want to apply see if I can do this like this so you guys can see. Then you want to apply just a little bit at the base by your cuticles. A nice even layer, like so. So when you get some like that, then what you want to do is push it to make sure that it's covering the edge of the top of the nail so you don't have any um, pink that's showing through. And then what you want to do is take your brush and start sweeping this and pulling it down. So it's almost like a cascading effect and um, it looks almost like it's just trickling down to the base of the nail. So that is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. The only thing left is to let this dry and then follow up with a top coat. And the one that I like to use is the Out the Door Top Coat, which you can find at Sally's. I'll put a link to it below. So that is it. Thanks for joining me for my very first nail art video and I definitely really had fun doing this. This is a lot of fun and I didn't think that I would enjoy doing um, videos on this but if you want to see more let me know because I do my nails every single week. I have something different. I will put my Instagram below as well with my Twitter because I do post my nails of the week and um, when I do that I do hashtag nails of the week so if you want to see that I will put a link to my profile below so you can follow me there and see all my pictures and I also post um, pictures on my blog too not every week but I do try to post them on my blog as much as possible so I will put the link to that below and if you haven't subscribed please do so click the button right above my head on my main YouTube channel screen and I will appreciate all the subscribers and I really 
enjoy having you coming and tuning in for my videos. It means the world to me. So thanks again, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye, everybody.